It's finally here. We have now MIUI 13 based on Android 12 available for the Xiaomi Poco X3 Pro. Finally, 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 Poco has rolled out MIUI 13 based on Android 12 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now do note this is a global build and it has not yet rolled out for the Indian variant. The first change you are going to notice of course is that yes, MIUI 13 means you get a new logo but the security patch which they are using is from February 2022. Next up, if we go back into settings about phone, all the specs, you will notice it now tells me I have 6 plus 2 GB of RAM and that is because I do have my memory extension enabled in additional settings which does give me some extra ROM which again in my humble opinion is a marketing gimmick and yes, the animations of ever so famous Poco launcher are still broken and they still have the bug wherein the gesture bar at the bottom bottom has a white background. The gestures though do work absolutely fine, no issues in that regard but yes these broken animations have been an eyesore for ages. Next up if you go into settings and special features you will notice you have something called sidebar. So they have removed the previous option of video toolbox, you now have sidebar which you can always show, choose the position, choose your games, choose your applications and bam this is how the sidebar bar is going to look like any application which you open over here is going to open in a floating window so yes sidebar is available in this latest miui 13 build for the poco x3 pro next up if you jump over to your one handed mode so you can go into settings additional settings here you should have one handed mode the ui here is a bit different why because this is google's implementation of one handed mode and once you enable it you have to swipe down on this gesture bar over here to access your one handed mode now the gesture is not perfect there is definitely some room for improvement but this here is me ui and if you just noticed a lag in the ui again blame me ui for that next up we can head back into additional settings and then if you go into accessibility here and go into accessibility menu now once you enable this tap on allow got it you have this floating button at the bottom go back go into accessibility button and the new option here is the configuring of this button so you can change the size you can fade it when it is not in use and you can also change the transparency of this accessibility menu which we just enabled next up as for your control center what is the style of control center you get you get the old style of control center and while we're talking about old styles the power menu is still the old and this is how your volume panel is going to look like going back into your control center let us go ahead and start the screen recording application and here and we can go into the settings now you still do not get your internal audio and microphone at the same time and you might see some new options of showing your touch gestures and showing the button taps but again internal audio and microphone with your screen recording would have been appreciated by the gamers out there next up let us have a look at the camera application now there are no new features in the camera application per se and if you go into your document mode the feature which i was trying to check for is the option of enabling your privacy watermark when you take a picture in documents mode it appears in the middle over here on miui china builds it is not present in this build however something different which you will definitely notice is when you're trying to take a picture or say record a video then you will notice this green dot on the top left so what is this green dot access your notification tap on this bam here it is it is now telling me that my camera is being used by the camera application and the same applies for the microphone as well so these are the new privacy indicators which google added with android 12 have been implemented in miui 13 based on android 12 but the downside or the sad part is that there is no option to disable this specific privacy indicator in miui 13 
screen. Now those of you who want to add a protective watermark to your pictures, open the gallery application, open the picture, three dot menu on the bottom right, say protective watermark, add whatever text you want to add and then tap on the check mark on the top right and bam there it is you can see that this picture now has the protective watermark which we just added. Now with respect to your game turbo do you get the new style of game turbo well the answer to that my dear friends is unfortunately no so here it is i have enabled game turbo for the me remote application this is how your game turbo is going to look like you still get the old style now those of you who are looking for the new style we do have a video showing you how to do that and that video can be found in the description of this video Next up with respect to material you there is some material you in this build but it is not a total complete material you from Android 12. So here it is I have the clock application from Google installed and let us go ahead and change the wallpaper and while we are in the wallpapers page do note that you get the new MIUI 13 static wallpapers you do not get any new live wallpapers or super live wallpapers or the molten glass wallpapers but again videos on how to get those awesome wallpapers can be found in the description of this video so let us change to this specific wallpaper which should get us a green accent color and now if I go back to the clock application you will notice that the UI is going to change BAM there it is we do have some material you but again not the complete implementation of material you where in your quick settings change your volume panel change so that is missing from me UI 13 then with respect to your widgets now do note this here is poop launcher so the widgets which you're going to get are the old me UI widgets you're not going to get the super cool and super impressive me UI 13 widgets then do you get the new me sans font let us go ahead and check that we can go into settings and display and you do have your 60 and 120 hertz but if you go into text size nope you do not get the new me sans font either and if i go into battery i do have the option of choosing my battery profile so i can switch between safe battery balanced and performance go into battery i do have my battery temperature but i do not have the other cool stuff which you get in miui china builds then are you able to uninstall your applications something which they have been bragging about since miui 12.5 so go into settings apps you do have your uninstalled system apps and as per them you should be able to remove say the weather application so let us go into app info nope i do not have the option of removing this similarly for file manager let us go into the info of that i do not have the option of disabling this or uninstalling this so uninstallable system apps the feature is still missing moving over to the benchmark scores now how do we run our benchmarks everything is run without a case ambient temperature of 25 to 30 degrees celsius at 120 refresh rate now for your n 22s we do four back to back four back to back n 22 runs followed by a cpu throttle taste to emulate gaming as close as possible now in terms of your n22 scores they are definitely lower as compared to the previous builds and there is definitely some room for improvement because we are in the 55s and the 54s if you have a look at this comparison of different miui versions you will notice that so far from my personal experience miui 12.5.4 global has had the most consistent and to do benchmark scores and that in my opinion could very well be the best miui build so far at the time of recording this video for the poco x3 pro then surprisingly super surprisingly with respect to your cpu throttle test somehow it performed good enough in your cpu throttle Test. the maximum gips was 159 and your minimum was 127 average was 147 ish but again if you have a look at 12.5.4 and maybe even 12.5.3 of the india build with respect to your cpu throttle test those builds performed better so again there is definitely some room for improvement in your benchmark scores 
So what is the final take on MIUI 13 based on Android 12 for the POCO X3 Pro? Now, there is definitely some room for improvement and this POCO launcher at 120 Google feed is still an issue. The transition from your Google feed to the home screen is a bit smoother, but again, they haven't fixed POCO launcher in ages. Other than that, if you tell me that, hey Manji, MIUI 13 is just MIUI 12.5 with a few additional apks and a changed logo then you my dear friend are absolutely right me my 13 till now just seems to be a scam operation in my humble opinion